So as you can see, Queensberry promoter Frank Warren, you know, the promoter of Hamza Shiraz has been saying pretty adamantly and consistently that Hamza Shiraz will be getting a title shot, a world title shot next year in 2025, particularly in February, right? So a lot of people thought that it would be against Janabek and Lincoln Nuli because of things like this. I'm gonna have to stick it straight on you here, Hamza. Yep, yep. Janibek, yep. you were made mandatory for Janibek. What are your feelings on it? I mean, I'd be a fool, I'd be a fool not to go for it. Do you know what I mean? I've shared plenty around sparring with him, so um, how hard he hits and whatnot. But listen, I've worked all my career to get in the position I'm in now, so let's go, let's go, let's, let's get it, let's get it all. Let's go, let's, let's get it, let's go, let's, let's get it, let's go, let's, let's get it, let's get it all. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white pussy. So even though Frank Warren hasn't disclosed a particular opponent, you know, they have flirted around with Jenna Beck in the past. Now I have a simple question to ask. Is this just a pivot? Or is it another episode in the many chronicles of If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have some news coming out of the Hamza Shiraz camp, you know. As we showed in the intro, you know, he's promoted by Frank Warren and Queensberry. And they have been very adamant and even excited about Hamza Shiraz having a world title shot in the imminent future particularly like three months from now in february you know and they have been they have led us to believe that it was going to be against janibek since hamza shiraz is a mandatory for the wbo sanction and body right however you know there has been a sudden change of plans he wants to go the wbc route which is a belt held by carlos adamas now people might be like oh well this is a duck because he's been saying he wants a world title shot you know but i think people are jumping the gun a little bit now this is where i will say you're right right because hamza shiraz and frank warren they have been very adamant about calling out a particular somebody but that somebody is not a world title holder that's chris eubank jr and they've been saying that he's been ducking them and not really wanting to fight them you know but now his hamza shiraz feet is being held to the fighter because we saw how he did chris eubank and you know referred to him as a coward for not fighting him so a lot of people thought because he was questioned about Janibek more often than not, that the next title shot would naturally be against Janibek since he holds the mandatory number one position in the WBO section and body. However, this is just a pivot because Frank Warren never really added with any specificity as far as who the particular opponent is going to be. We just assume because he says he's going to get a royal title shot and he's been asked about Janibek frequently by interviewers while he's in the, acting in the capacity as the interviewee and just fielding the questions, we thought that because he was saying that, yeah, he'll fight Janibek, that it was necessarily going to be Janibek right then. And it doesn't seem like that way, right? It seems like he's going to fight Carlos Adamas. And the reason why I say this is not a duck, from my opinion, is because I think going in, in another direction, pivoting, or going the route that is, you know, showing a little less resistance than the other, and this would be Carlos Adamas, Adamas is justified because he's the number one ranked in the WBC as well. The IBF title, which is held by Janibek also, he's ranked number four. And then for the WBA, the title held by Arizlandi Lara, he's ranked number six. You know, so we know it's not those two, right? We knew it was going to be the WBO or the WBA. People just forgot about the WBA. And I don't want to disrespect Carlos Adamas by calling him the path of least resistance. I'm just saying, apparently, that's what Frank Warren and, and, and Hamza Shiraz think, you know, because they elected not to go towards Janibek and they elected to exercise their right as a mandatory for the WBC, the, the, the belt held by Carlos Adamas, you know. So we'll see how this goes, man. Like I said, from my point of view, I think that boxing is a business. And when you're in the sanctioned bodies and and you're dealing with them and paying your fees, you know, respectively, and um, to your sanction and body, and you are ranked, then you do have the benefit of picking which way you want to go to. And I think that Hebs of Shiraz is just a beneficiary of being in a, you know, pretty advantageous position when it comes to picking which title you want to chase or pursue in 2025. Now, the proper question is, why did he choose Adamus over Genebic? I guess we'll find out in February, right? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think it's a duck because of the way he was calling out Chris Eubank? Uh, do you think it was a duck because he said that he was willing to fight Janibek? But even in this video here, you know, when he was asked about Janibek, I want you to keep in mind and listen to his tone. He doesn't sound too excited to fight Janibek. How hard he hits and whatnot, but listen, let's go, let's go, let's, let's get it, let's get it all. Fear, 100% fear. I mean, he's a fighter, right? So of course he's gonna say that he's willing 
to fight him and you know he's gonna you know he's gonna reference his past experiences with Genebek. however he didn't seem like he was too adamant or gung-ho about fighting Genebek, and here it is now he's fighting you know in february carlos adamas a wbc uh title holder now is this an easier fight i mean we'll, we'll see stylistically i think that it's a little easier for him to see raz and Genebek, but i think carlos adamas also poses his own threat you know and it, it, it's pretty big in the power department so we'll see how it goes man i don't know who's gonna win i have to do my research and do my due diligence but at this very moment i'm gonna lean towards carlos adamas against hamza shiraz just like with Genebek, i would have leaned towards Genebek as well but hamza shiraz is definitely a formidable fighter so i look forward to a good fight man y'all let me know is he ducking or not nah? don't forget to hit that like button but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing the doctor's out Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.